What's up you awesome internet? My name is Trident Lion and today I'm going to be bringing you a brand new book animation summary. And the book I'm going to be featuring in this video for you is Music Marketing, Press, Promotion, Distribution and Retail by Mike King. And before we start this out, go ahead and press the like button, just like you're pressing play on a song that you really love. This book is an awesome choice for anyone that's in the music industry that wants to focus on, you guessed it, marketing. This is a detailed music marketing roadmap. Understand that the time we live in enables any artist the ability to record and distribute their music with relative ease. The new challenge that artists are facing is finding ways to differentiate themselves from the crowd and also develop engaging ways to communicate with their potential fans and also their current audience. Definitely pick up the book yourself. If you view music to be your career and you've defined yourself as a music producer or an artist, then it is worth picking up this book. Now without further ado, let's get into this video. Create a marketing plan that works. Not all marketing plans work for all artists. The great thing about this book is it'll lay out several different marketing plans that you can pick and choose whatever is best for your situation and your personality. It is important to define your goal. How many track downloads do you want to get? How many followers do you want to gain? And by when do you want to accomplish these goals? Goals are extremely important when music marketing. Now there is a reality goal check that you have to take into consideration. It is essential to have a long-term goal with your music. Imagine the best possible you that you can imagine. That should be your long-term goal and beyond. But the reality check is that this needs to be practical. And the way that it could become practical is by achieving small-term goals that ultimately lead to the long-term goal. One of the biggest and most valid questions that many early musicians and music producers ask is how do they find their audience? Finding your audience and defining the market are crucial aspects in music marketing. It is in determining your core audience that you can then move forward with your marketing. There is no sense in marketing to people that are not going to be interested in your music. You have to find your niche and narrow your scope so that you can identify who your audience is. It is better to focus on your fans rather than trying to please and appeal to everyone. It is like how in my Tools of Titans for Musicians and Music Producers video, I express how legendary music producer Rick Rubin quotes, to begin with heart work, not with head work. It is very important that artists recognize in addition to creating music, they are also creating a brand. It was Jay-Z that said that, I'm not a businessman, I'm a business man. So it's important to recognize yourself as a personal brand when you're going about creating your music. It's a way that you can promote yourself better, it's a way that your audience can get more of a dynamic view of who you are and get more of an emotional connection to you. One powerful marketing phenomenon that can be spread like wildfire and a phenomenon that every artist who is seeking to grow an audience wants to captivate. It is the powerful marketing phenomenon known as word of mouth. If your music spreads through word of mouth, that is a huge competitive advantage. You then essentially have fans promoting your music, free marketing on their social media platforms. How does an artist inspire a word of mouth campaign? The answer is to create Great music. Great music inevitably spreads. You can also give your music away for free. Imagine creating music so incredible it cannot be forgotten. This is a powerful motivation to stick by. Understand that some people will love it and understand that some people will hate it. Trying to please everybody with your music not only will fail in its goal, which is to make everybody happy with it, but it would also fail in making you feel fulfilled by not playing and producing the music that you want to make. Now let's talk about distribution. Distribution is no longer an issue. 
and that is a huge change in the music industry. No longer are there gatekeepers telling you that you are not good enough in order to put your music out in the public. Now, it's survival of the fittest, meaning winning over music fans yourself. Making music something that your fans love, that they choose to listen to over all the other music options that are out there. Now, online distribution has proven to be one of the most effective web-driven independent artist tools to arise over the past decade. Before you start soliciting your distribution options and start spamming everybody by saying, hey, listen to this, my song, listen to this, watch my music video, understand that developing artists need to first cultivate a base. A base meaning a clear understanding of how you define your brand, how you define your music, and what your niche is and who your fan base is. The next topic in music marketing is going to be advertising. There are so many advertising options out there. The best one for most artists out there is definitely going to be online advertising. It'll be direct to consumers which can link up to all of their info and all of their different platforms so that the fans can connect with the artist a lot easier. Now the idea of advertising, the simplest way to put it is that while it may take a while to perfect your ad and your message in the advertising, find out where your fans are and deliver a concise, action-driven message to them. Next, let's talk about publicity. Press outreach is a fundamental component of any music marketing plan. What's great to do is identify the proper outlets create effective releases that are targeted towards your goals and towards your fans. The next thing we're gonna talk about is radio promotion. Find radio stations that are not gonna to be too expensive, that are gonna be geared towards your fan base as well. You wanna make whatever you're marketing to be worth it, so you wanna be able to see a return on the efforts that you put forward, whether that be through radio or through online distribution. Another important part of being a music artist is touring. Touring is absolutely essential to your overall financial health and longevity as an artist. It is extremely competitive nowadays, but it's better than ever. Now there is so many different events that will bring together several different types of artists and several different types of genres where you can get together and collaborate and address your music to fans of similar genres. Understand that a well-run tour provides the artist with not only financial benefits, but also invigorates all the other marketing segments to provide artists with maximum overall visibility. The author, Mike King, has the third part of this book named Putting It All Together. And the last chapter is Timing Is Everything. With most things in life, music marketing included, advanced planning is crucial for success. This book provides a starting point for your music marketing efforts there's details in here on how to move ahead based on your unique situation and information as to how to take tips and techniques contained within this and formulate them into a plan for your music marketing success. This video cannot do this book justice. It can only give you an introduction and a basic layout as to what you can expect when reading this book. If you do take your music career serious, then I highly recommend picking up this book as a beautiful reference guide always look back on it, always refresh your brain as to what is important to know when you're going to go ahead and market your music for success. I also recommend checking out two additional videos that I made. One I mentioned earlier, which is Tools of Titans for Musicians and Music Producers, where it features Rick Rubin, who has been named the most important music producer in the past 20 years by MTV, amongst several other legends. The other video I recommend is the 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing. I made an entire video on this book and it is extremely beneficial when you're trying to break through the noise of all the competition that's going on there and stand out there in the marketplace and have your music be heard. There's so many new artists that are coming up with service-related companies. There's online marketing opportunities popping up everywhere. This book provides the segments and ideas that all music marketers must be aware of. You need to stay current with the evolving marketing trends by keeping up with online industries, websites, blogs, social media sites. Your successful music career is in reach. What is required is patience, persistence, and a will to never give up. If music is truly your lifetime commitment, 
your purpose, your drive, your inspiration, and your passion and love, then that alone will give you the fuel and energy that's needed to figure out what you need to figure out when you need to figure that out. As ridiculous as that sounds, if you are not experiencing the right amount of knowledge or understanding for music marketing, you will continue to learn, read, watch videos like this. If you are having trouble with the production aspect of music, you will seek out advice. You will learn, take classes, practice, practice, practice. If this is your lifetime commitment and this is your goal, then music marketing is an inevitable success. Inevitable, however contingent. Contingent based on your faith in yourself. And you will work and learn and grow and adapt to become successful with this. Define success on your terms. Set your goal and stop at nothing until you've reached it. Thank you so much for checking out this video. My name is Trident Lion. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to this channel. Comment below any books that are not featured on my channel yet that you would love to see in a book animation summary about. Be sure to pick up a copy of this book yourself, Music Marketing by Mike King. You can find the link for it in the description below, as well as the other books that were mentioned in this video. If you guys are still watching this video up to this point, I'm super grateful for it. Thank you so much for sticking around and I will see you in the next video.